Today is an exciting day for me because I get to introduce the new Princeton Organizer. If you are new around here, let me tell you all about it. So the Princeton Organizer is a digital planner, which means it's an interactive PDF file, which means it's a bunch of pages connected through links and buttons that will allow you to navigate from one page to another. This file will live on a device that could be a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone, and you need to use it along with a note-taking app. My personal favorite is called GoodNotes. The Princeton Organizer is so much more than just calendar pages. You do have pages for every day, every week, and every month of the year. In fact, you will get two options to view each month of the year, so you can keep separate calendars, let's say your work life and your personal life. But besides all these pages, you get a bunch more which will allow you to organize almost every aspect of your life. A great perk of getting the Princeton Organizer is that you get access to an ever-growing library of bonus downloads which will help you build your pages exactly the way you want them. This is the PSO library and you'll get access to it as soon as you order the Princeton Organizer. The Princeton Organizer has been released before, however, with each new release I add new features and improvements. So I'm going to start this video by telling you what those new features are. And then I'm going to go on and do a full overview, a full walkthrough of the whole uh, organizer where you can see each and every page. I will be showing you the rainbow version today and that version has different color backgrounds throughout the organizer. So the pages will change colors as you go through the pages, but there are also other color versions available and those will have the same color throughout the whole organizer. You can pick whichever you want when you are ordering and two of those color versions are actually blackout so that means that all of the boxes that you see here that are white will be black on those two versions. When you're ordering you will see that you have different options that you can choose from. There's a Monday start which means that all of the months and weeks in the organizer will start on a Monday. There's a Sunday start which means that all weeks and months in the organizer will start on a Sunday but there's also this hybrid version which means that all months in the organizer will start on a Sunday but all the weeks will start on a Monday. Monday. So you can pick whichever calendar you are most used to. The biggest upgrade this year is the fact that now you can interact with your PSO. PSO stands for Princeton Organizer. You can make this document interact with outside apps, meaning that you will be able to tap on certain buttons in the organizer and certain apps in your iPad will open. So the apps that you can now interact with are Apple Calendar, you also have weather, so you can check the weather directly from your Princeton Organizer. The other app that you can access is Stixer. Now, Stixer is the app where I personally keep all of my stickers, all of my elements, and I have everything really neatly organized. I love the fact that you can have a cover for each of your folders. I'm very visual. It's very easy for me to locate what I'm looking for in this way. And that's why I have added connectivity with it in the Princeton Organizer. And you can also create events with Google Calendar. This will work in a little bit different way. When you tap on this link, you will actually open Google Calendar. So you will be taken out of the Princeton Organizer. A little bit ahead in this video, I'm gonna give you some examples on how to use these buttons and some tips that will help things work a little better. One of the many awesome features of this planner is that you get to customize three sections each month to add exactly what you need to organize in your life. Another big upgrade this year is that you can now label your blank sections. You now have this little box with three labels where you can add the name of each of the sections. Now you will have this box repeated in the pages that allow space for it. And what you can do is add your titles here. So you can use the text tool or you can draw directly on each of these little labels. And then you would grab your lasso to select all this text. You can copy it and then move on to the next page and then you can paste it. And in this way, when you are navigating, you will know exactly where you are and you will also know where the page that you are looking for is located. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's start from the beginning. So I'm gonna head back to the front cover or the first page in my Princeton Organizer. As you can see, it's empty. There's nothing here yet. You can add whatever you want. And I just want to quickly show you what I did myself. I added all of these widgets and stickers. I think it looks really cute. And it's actually helpful too because I have calendars. I can see which dates are coming up and it's just cute to look at. Remember that when you exit into the GoodNotes library this miniature is what you are going to see as the cover of this file of the Princeton organizer now I'm gonna go on the buttons at the top left corner here
calendar. The first one is the help icon. So if you tap there, you're going to open the pages where you have all this information and all these details on what you need to do in order to make the shortcut work, how to install it and a bunch of really useful information. So I really encourage you to read through these pages. The following button will be your Princeton organizer library, which is a place where you can get a lot of downloads at no extra cost. Once you purchase the Princeton organizer, you will gain access to this library. So this is a button so you can conveniently open the library. It is on an external website on the Princeton website. To access the library, you will have to log in. And again, you have the details on how to do all of this, how to create an account and such in the info pages. So you can refer to those if you have questions. The following button is a video player and this will play the playlist showing all the videos from the Princeton YouTube channel talking about the Princeton organizer. So you will get inspiration, you will see how some of the pages work, etc. The following button is the community button. And actually the Princeton community is a brand new one. We had to stop using the platform that we were using and this is a brand new one. I tried to import as many posts as I could from the old community. And well, it's ready for you guys to start posting. You can share your uh, spreads, your pages, ask questions, you know, be inspired. And this is nice to have a community that is outside of Facebook or some other social media networks that you may or may not want to use. This is a separate website. The last button that says FAQ will take you to the frequently asked questions. This is another page located within the Princeton website. Let's get to the fun part and let's tap on this little sun icon here on the left. And that's going to take me to my daily routine. Many pages in the Princeton organizer are an opportunity for you to self reflect, to just sit and think about the way you are doing things or the way you would like to be doing things. So this page and a few others are not meant to be updated constantly rather you know, take the time once a month, once every few months or once every week or as often as you want to see how things are going, things you would like to change in your life, etc. So you have a, your daily routine and I'm going to skip the second icon. We'll come back to it in a second. I'm going to go to the perfect day. So this is more like a weekly routine because you can enter information for each day of the week. And after that, you also have your shutdown routine, how you want to end your day, how you want to wind down and the things that you need to do in order to make sure that you've done anything that you need to get done each day. I'm going to go back to the second icon here, the pen, and that's actually your planning routine. This is where you can drop all of your ideas on how you want to be planning, how you want to be making use of your Princeton organizer. So all of the things you want to keep track of, uh, how often you want to look into your planner, or maybe you are used to opening your planner every single day. However, you need to remember that every two months you need to look into your finances. If you don't write it down, you might forget about it. So this is the space where you can write all that information down so you can get back to it anytime you need. The next big button here, the Princeton organizer button, that's the signature dashboard or index. Each of these boxes represents a blank section. I personally have been using this page to manage all different aspects of my business. This is what mine looks like. I have added these words and just some decorations. So at the bottom of each box, you can tap on it and it's going to open a white page. So a blank section and you can add whatever you want to it. And after all those pages, you have your quick note page that you can quickly access. It's very visible and easy to open. So whenever you want to write down something quickly and you're not sure where, you can just come here and put it down. And then when you have more time, you can decide what to do with this information, pass it on to your planner or maybe save it elsewhere. I'm going to continue with these icons. And the first one is my master list. Next to that, you have your goals page. And I want to point out that here at the top right corner, you can see that you have these two dots. That means that this section, so my goals section will have two subsections or two pages. So if I tap on the second dot, I'm going to open the other page that belongs to that same goals section. So as you can see, this icon here, it's still selected because it means that I'm still within the same section. So I'm going to go on to my next icon here, which is my vision board. Same thing. I have two views of my vision board. So the next icon is going to be my projects. This is similar to the Princeton organizer dashboard or index that I showed you before. So you have the boxes, same thing. The bottom of each box is going to be linked. So when you tap on any of these bars, you are going to open the page for that particular project. The big boxes here represent bigger projects and the smaller boxes represent smaller ones. So when I tap on a small box, I will open a page that has all four small or mini projects in the same page. And if you need more space, you'll see that the bigger 
projects will have a single page so you can write out all the details that you need. The following icon here is my time sensitive. So this is where I will keep track of any appointments that I need to make or I personally like to keep track of past appointments. I write them down in here. The next button where it says pending, this is kind of a brain dump page. You just come here and drop all of your ideas on these boxes, but you can also categorize them in these five different uh, colors or categories. Now you can add the label of each categories in the space provided here at the left. And this is actually also a link. So if I tap on this little bar, I'm going to open that particular category, the category that had that color. And if I go back to the pending button, I can also tap on this yellow button. So you have those two options. You can navigate the different categories of the pending section by tapping on the colored boxes right here. But if you go to the main one where you dump all of your ideas, you also have these buttons at the left that will open each of the categories. Once you've opened one of these pages, you have a lot more room to enter and organize all these ideas and again decide what to do with them if you need to place some of these on your planner pages if you know you need to take action or just keep them here for future reference the next button is my task detail page or index rather so once again you have all these boxes and all of these will link to a blank page i keep all of my ongoing product ideas here you can just tap on the info icon here at the top and then the page will open and this is where i will start entering all of the details or the ideas that i have for that particular product something really special and amazing about the Princeton organizer is that it's really well linked and even though you have so many pages it's easy to know where you are for example here this is a blank page but as you can see my task detail button is grayed out so that means that this page belongs to that task detail section i also recommend you to label your blank pages and there is this space provided at the top right corner where you can do so so that next time when you're scrolling through these blank pages you know exactly where you are without having to go back to your index the following button is my ideas page this is pretty much the same thing that you had at the Princeton organizer dashboard it's just another option for you to have maybe a whole different category where you need multiple subsections the bottom of these boxes are also linked to blank pages the following button that says accomplished this is the area where you can keep track of all of your accomplishments whether big or small or all of the milestones that you're proud of and you want to keep track of i think it's nice to keep track not only of the things that you haven't done the things that you need to finish but also of the things that you have done and the things that you should feel proud of the next three buttons are actually just blank sections and there's nothing here there's not even a white page and this is so that you can use the stickies included in the Princeton organizer library it's really easy to build your own spreads and so i have left the page transparent so that you can build the page however you like you can also just add widgets or stickers to anything at all and you get three of these sections the square the triangle and the circle so it's easy access throughout any page in the organizer to customizable sections that you can use as you like the following buttons are pages that will allow you to organize different aspects of your life now this is a ton of pages for example this first section which is self-love it's all about self-care exercising keeping track of your health your workouts i'm gonna zoom in here on the top right so you can see that this section actually has five pages so i'm not gonna stop at every single one rather i'm just gonna scroll by so you get to see them but I'm just gonna speed up this part. After 
after the tracker pages, you have this last button, which is actually your blank pages, your blank spreads, and you have different grids that you can use. So you have an all white page, you have a dotted grid, you will get a ruled page, a square grid, and a dark page as well. After these pages, you will find your undated spreads. And this is really cool because it means that you can keep using the Printstick organizer. Even if the dates of your PSO run out, you can add these pages, date them yourself, and keep using the organizer for as long as you want. You will get one for the day, you get one for the week, and you get your two monthly spreads. I want to mention that if at any point you feel lost, you're not sure which pages are included or where is what, you do have a master index in the PSO and that's gonna be the second button here. And here you can see all of the pages that make the Printstick organizer. So as you can see, everything is laid out here, everything's labeled, and you'll see that some of these labels have a little phone icon next to it. We're gonna see that in a second, but that means that this page will have a phone version that will adapt to the screen of your phone. Next, we have this icon at the bottom here, and this is my notebook. So this is a notebook within the Printstick organizer. You get 40 sections. You'll notice that the labels on the left side are white and the ones on the right side are transparent. That means that all of the pages which have the labels on this side will be white and the ones on the right will not have anything, so will be transparent pages. And it's really cool because you have the number that you selected up here, so you know where you are. And if you tap on that number, you'll go back to the index. Of course, you can also just tap on your notebook icon and that will also bring you to the notebook index. Our next section is our journaling section. And this is an easy way to keep a little bit of information needed for every day of the year. You'll see that if you tap on any day, you will open a page where you actually have multiple days, so six on each page. You can keep a few notes or something important that happened that day. I've seen some members of the community using these pages to keep notes of the daily meetings that they have at work. When I have used these pages, I have done a little bit of journaling. I love the way these pages are set up because there's not a ton of space, so it's not overwhelming all of the information that you need to enter. And I really like that you can see multiple days at once. Now we get to our phone icon. As I mentioned before, you have some pages that will adapt to the screen of your phone. They can also work if you like to use your iPad in portrait mode. It's gonna be a little bit bigger on the screen. Not all pages of the Printstick Organizer adapt like this, only some key pages, and to know which ones those are, you'll see that some of the buttons in your navigation menu turn gray. Those are the buttons where you can tap on and the page formatted for the phone is going to open. Now, when you tap on one button and you tap on it again, the other version will open. In this case, I went from the phone version to the large version. And if I tap on it, once I'm on the large version, I'm gonna go back to the phone version. So these are the pages that you have formatted for the phone. At the bottom here, you'll see that you have some special pages, which are your day divided with these two buttons. And you also have your weekly here. The second one is white, so you can add stickies from the PSO library here. And this monthly tab will allow you to keep track of some special dates or some to-dos for your personal or work life. Now let's explore the planner or calendar pages. The first button at the top right corner here is going to be my yearly calendar. So when I tap on it, I'm going to open this yearly view. You do get some room on each month to write down special events or some notes. Everything will be hyperlinked here. So if you tap on one of these dates, you're going to navigate to that particular day. Let's go back to the year. You also have these dots and these dots will always mean that you will open that particular week. So as you can see, I open this weekly spread here. Now, something that has been added is that now you have these two icons when you have this mini calendar view. So this is gonna open the first monthly view you have. You get one big calendar for each month and you also have a smaller one. You can access those by tapping on these two buttons that I showed you when I have my mini calendar showing, but you will always have those buttons available on the right here. So as you can see, you have this large one and you also have the small one. After your year calendar icon at the top here, you will get your quarterly pages. So if you tap on each of these buttons, you will open the corresponding quarter. Once you open a quarter, same thing, everything's linked. So you will be able to tap on a date and navigate to that daily spread. You can also tap on a dot and that will open that particular week. 
and you can also tap on each of these numbers here that will also link to each of the dates and you can even tap on this yearly label here and that will take you back to the year calendar. There are two pages that accompany the yearly calendar and again we know that because we can see that we have these three dots and as you can see the calendar it's in between the other two pages so you have one to the left one to the right or I can just tap on the dot on the left to open the first page. This is where you can take a look at how your previous year went so when the year ends you can come here review how things went you can keep track of the biggest highlights of the year and if you go to the third dot here, you will go to the page where you can start planning for the upcoming year. Let's keep exploring our navigation bar on the right. You'll see that you have each of the months here and each month will have several buttons. If you tap on the month itself, you will open the dashboard of that month. Here you have space to reflect on the previous month, reflect on how you want that new month to go. You will also have the space to label your blank sections. If you recall, each one of these bars is actually linked to each of the sections. And as you can see, the buttons here will light up because these buttons will also take you to each of the sections of each month. The little squares right under the label of the month here, those are the weeks. So you can navigate to any week of the year by tapping on these buttons. This is really cool because no matter where you are in the organizer, you can navigate to any week of the year with just one tap. Last but not least, I want to talk about the functionality between the Printstick Organizer and the outside apps that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And the first thing you need to know is that in order to have these buttons work, you will need to install something that's called a shortcut. And this is the instructions that the planner needs in order to run those apps. You will find all of the instructions on how to download the shortcut on your first info page. You have this big button that says install the shortcut you need to tap there to do it i have made a video walking you through the installation process it's so quick and easy and to access that video you just tap on this button that says watch video here and it's going to show you exactly how it's done once the shortcut has been installed then these buttons will work the same way as i'm showing you the first and most important one, the one that has been highly requested, is calendar. So now, from any page within the Printstick Organizer, you will be able to tap on a button and open your Apple calendar so that you can add a new event. For example, if I have added an appointment or event to my planner, and if you want to add that event to your Apple calendar, what you do is you grab your lasso tool, you will make a selection around, and then I'm gonna tap on copy. Now I'm gonna tap on my calendar button here, and it's gonna ask me if I can run the shortcut. I'm gonna say yes. It looks like there's a lot happening here. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. We can't not have the app shortcuts be here. I'm just gonna select when the event starts, so you can choose the date, you can change to a different month if you need to and you can also set the time right here once I've done that I'm gonna tap on done now the first time that I run most of these uh, actions with the Printstick shortcut I'm gonna be asked if it's okay to do it if I click on always allow I should not be asked again as you can see my event is already here that happened because I used the lasso to copy it and it was automatically pasted here to the title here you just make sure everything looks good and that's all you will tap on add and this has been added to your calendar if you want to check if the event was indeed added or if you just want to take a look at your upcoming events in Apple Calendar that's what your next button is for so I'm gonna tap on it and again I have to click yes in this little box and this will show me my upcoming events in calendar. I can choose either of these and I'm going to open that event in case I need to modify anything about it. The following button will show me the current weather at my location. Again, it's going to ask for permission. You can just tap yes. The next button will open Stixer. I really like to keep the folder that I use the most or the one that has the biggest variety of stickers open. So that folder that I have selected is going to load. I find it super helpful to quickly find the stickers that I need and then just drag them onto my planner. When I'm done with any of the apps that opened here on the side, I can just slide it over to the right and keep working on my planner. The last button on the right here is what will open Google Calendar. This opens Google Calendar directly. It will not slide over like it has with the other apps. But one little advice I have for you is that if you open Google Calendar yourself and you choose to slide it over, the next time that you tap on your button in the Printstick Organizer, then the calendar will open just the way it did with 
with the other apps. When you are creating a new event in Google Calendar, the event title will not be automatically pasted. However, you have it copied already, so you can just click and tap to paste. That was a big video. I think it's the first time that I show every single page of the Princeton Organizer in a single video. I'm really excited about this version, specifically the rainbow version. As you can see, there were some new colors that were added to each of the months, so you're not bored of looking at the same every month. I will be sharing more videos and reels on how I use my pages to give you some inspiration, and don't forget to visit the community for more inspiration as well. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.